Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yumtuki! Uh, 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 936. 96 I believe? We're here! I know we're jumping mid-game, that's a little bit unfair of us. But I caught this area rather off uh, off guard and I wanted to show it off. Uh, we got here by entering that funky portal in the basement of the Doom Apartments um, and then coming back through it. It took us here, which is slightly different from where you normally are. At least it's slightly different. I don't think I've ever seen here before. There's a boat. There's loads of stuff that looks quite neat around here. Especially that thing. That looks pretty awesome. That gateway up there looks cool. Badass. You can go up here and look at this spooky building that's on the right there. I'm trying my best to get to the gateway. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get to the gateway. And then I'm like, oh shit, what's this? Spooky castle? Yeah, I know spooky castles for you, mate. Spooky castles. Spooky castles. You having a lot of spooky fucking castles. You gotta be kidding me. Not today, bucko. So, uh, this is a weird area in, in that regard. I mean, it looks visually quite cool and I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen kind of in the, the long run, but it doesn't seem like you can actually access any of this. If you know different in the comments, please let me know. You know what I think about these fucking invisible maze bollocks things. I'm like, fuck that. Just a random traffic cone. I guess that's to suggest this area isn't finished. <clears throat> Whatever. Finish it, you fucks. But that's fine. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're here. We're in this area again. I was overjoyed about that. Not me. This is the the start of a long-winded series of events where it was essentially just an exercise of me getting frustrated with the game. This this video almost had like a quantum effect of me also getting frustrated at the encoding process. The, the results frustrated me just as much. Like, fuck it, get on the boat. Get on that boat. And there's another boat. Fancy that. How do we get on that boat? Can we jump from boat to boat? No. But why is there another boat there? Good questions. Good mystery. Not going to be answered. So that doesn't look like a teleporter. But it does teleport you. Yeah. You can't get back when we teleport, bitch. GG. Yeah, and we're back here. This just leads into the the, the factory approach. So we're going we're gonna to have a little, little jump cut. Quality editing, as you're all getting familiar with. And then we're in front of the mansion. This is just really pathos. I just wanted to show some of the adventures that we're on because it was ultimately quite fruitless. Fruitless, but I like I like the atmosphere of a lot of these bits of the game. It's quite cool. It's not kind of pointless. <clears throat> so it gives me a little bit of a chance to talk about things. I, I had this idea that I would use the bat, but for some reason you can't use the bat effect here. I thought I'll use this as a jumping off spot. Yeah, you won't, mate. No, not allowed. Banned. Bat banned. It's like being vac band, but it's when you're bat band. So we go down here. We've seen all this before. We've seen all this before as well. Some of this I think has had a slight visual tweak, but not enough for anyone to really give a shit. Certainly I don't give a shit. This area is quite cool. I might link the, the videos that deal with these areas just so that anyone who's not familiar can get themselves up to speed. Because it has been a while, admittedly. So long, in fact, that I was going around some of this going, yeah, we've not seen this, have we? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we have. We definitely have. Just go up, you stupid fuck. I'm talking to myself, not Uritsuki here. She's not stupid. She knows how to fucking ride a motorbike. I don't know how to do that. I'm having enough trouble with a fucking push bike. Never mind a motorbike. Can't seem to get by a single week without fucking puncturing the damn thing. Everyone just wants to puncture my good stuff, and I hate it. So, the, the grand plan for this week was to have a, a recording every day of the week. Because I wanted to try and get into a regime. It's been quite tough, actually. I don't know how some of the AAA guys can do it, fucking hell. I've always liked this area. The aquarium. I guess it's unfinished because there's the cones. The only thing you can really do is go down here. Once you go down here, you get fucked. It's a one-way teleporter. Because that's how the game rolls. But anyway, this is all like, it's like, whatever. We've, we've seen all this before, so this is endlessly repeating content. What about a nice happy face? Use this as a point of reference. If you're playing along at home, that's an important thing. You go directly up. 
and you end up in this bed of things. Corals? Corals? Something like that. Now we are looking for a secret passageway. Very secret. You know what this is like in fucking Tukey when you're trying to find a fucking secret passageway. So, it's like, because some of these things have like weird hit models, like they, they block out certain spaces and not. Quality puzzle design, quality maze design, it's just out of this world. Out of this fucking world, you would not believe. There's a red eye thing there, just because why not? That's what you do, isn't it? You just have a bleeding eye when you're a map designer for Tukey. Just shove any old shit down. That's fine. God knows you've got a, an array of assets to, to pull for. Well, those are actually in the underground, the uh, underwater area quite a bit, but I just... I don't know. I'm being cynical, aren't I? I'm just being a cynical git at this point. Oh, come on. Are we going to find it? Are we going to find it? We've, we've nearly done a complete loop, yeah, so that's it. We've looped all around and we haven't found what we're looking for. So, I think, well, fuck this, I'm not recording all this bollocks, we've just done a loop. Let's uh, do it off camera. So then, jump up, and we're back. And that's how to get in there. Like a professional. Not the, the most sync jump cut in the world, but hey, fucking whatever. This takes us here. We haven't been here. So this is all new. This is quite exciting, isn't it? What's going on in this kelpie forest? Just a bench, as you do. Let's have a wee sit down. Enjoy this underwater ambience. Sitting down is always good. Rest your weary legs. Rest your dreamy legs. I said west. And what well, do you know? There's a bus. That's a cool door opening effect. It's kind of like the secret lab. Let's go in. The, what do you got to say? He just nods at us. So how we sit down. Where's this bus going to take us? It's very quiet. It's not like the subway train from uh, Yuminiki, where there was some cool guys just sitting having a good time. It's just us. It just us and the bus driver. This bus is kind of dilapidated as well. A bit run down. No doubt the uh, the victim of a great many budget cuts. Whatever the fuck happened there, I guess the, the bus stopped at where it was before. Who knows if it was moving. It just kind of shakes the screen because... Because why not? Because why not? Well, I guess we better make ourselves fucking comfortable. Let's find a window seat. Not that we could see out the windows. We seem to be in an abyss. An underwater abyss. A, a, bar, a bus that's underwater in an abyss. Over an abyss, in fact, because it was over a giant pit, wasn't it? That's some serious abyssal thinking. It's a bit ab abyss, abyssmal. And the bus shakes. So what does that mean? It means you can't get out now, trapped on the bus forever. No. I'm like, what the fuck? So we can't get out now. Shit, this is not what I signed up for. I'd not sign up for being locked on this bus forever. And I'm thinking, does that mean maybe the bus is in motion? Nah, I can't do it. Is there another door? Dunno. Doesn't look like it. I don't notice the little glowing hoop down at the bottom right, because I'm a fucking idiot. So. I just think, well, we'll just ride it out, right? It's got to, something's got to happen. The bus driver's going to get out and he's probably going to fucking rape murders in the, the back. That's probably the traumatic experience of this bus, right? Sounds like something that the, the dream theorists would come up with. Got a game theorist video on Yume Tukey, could you imagine? Ugh. God. I think I've just become like a jaded YouTuber now as well. It's like, just fucking whatever. Fucking everything. Stupid YouTubers, stupid, stupid bitching contest about nothing interesting. It's all crap. And all the all the people that I used to follow, uh, they don't really make videos anymore. 
Mike put some stuff up recently, but he's 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 a hardcore streamer now. He's got his own little community on the on the streams. Got no time for the old YouTube. It's kind of sad, isn't it? It's kind of sad. I'm just happy jiggling ahead about it. It's amusing enough for me. Just sit and jiggle. Urt took his head around. Staring off into the distance, just waiting for something to happen. So I'm thinking, there's, there's got to be something. There's, there's something that's got to have triggered. And then I noticed that, and I'm like, huh. Oh. Dora, huh? Well, let's get out. And we're in this underground, under sorry, underwater, snowing field with a bench and a bus and some fish and some weird plant life. Isn't that lovely? I think it's lovely. And we're going to have a little reconnoiter around here, because this is a whole new area. This is really exciting. Although, it immediately is giving me vibes of maze bullshit. I'm thinking, hmm, not sure what, what to think about this. As I was saying of Flo the other day, if, if this was Flo, you'd just be able to move about your fucking leisure. You'd be able to do whatever the fuck you want. Not in Tukey. This is part of a puzzle. If it's in Tukey, be assured that if you're getting somewhere, it's because the developer wanted you to get there. He sat and plain, painstakingly put down all these stupid little fucking shrubs and plants and things. Look at that. A little, little house, but we can't get in. Bummer. Not allowed. Denied. That's unfortunate. Well... There's got to be something else here, right? Can't just all be for, for that, for us to reach a on a construction thing, and then it was it's like, well, lol, fuck you. That would be it'd be uncool. It'd be uncouth of the game to do that. So we just got to find the gimmick. And as you know, I am the expert at the gimmicks, especially when it comes back to finding the bus. Oh God. That's obviously not what we're looking for. And you can just, if you can just imagine the, 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 the thoughts and the words coming out of my mouth when I was doing this at the time, I was like, oh no. Look at these boxes. Oh, that looks promising. Boxes? Boxes look good. Boxes look interesting. If I was a gimmick, I would probably hide near those. There we go. Target locked. How do we get to the boxes? How do we get to those delicious boxes? Now there is a puzzle fit for a king. I'm thinking, well, this must make sense. It's linear. Down, round, and up. Down, round, and up, right? Down, round, and up. A good sexual maneuver. If you ever stop for one, down, round, and up. I don't think that is actually. I wouldn't try it. You'd probably get punched, divorced, uh, tried on a court. So I get to this opening and I'm like, but there's no boxes. Where are the boxes? What the fuck have I missed? Have they like warped out of existence? Not quite getting the, the spatial awareness right here because I'm thinking, they've got to be here. they got to be here. Kind of like those areas in that overdrive game. This this The ambience in here, while it's kind of nice, the, the short length of the musical loop is... Uh, how should we say? Short? Brief? Yeah. So, kind of detracts a little bit from the enjoyment of the area, especially if you're sitting puzzling it for ages. You could almost do it with being a little bit quieter, maybe, because it's actually quite loud. But, or maybe I'm just... I'm just not... I'm not with it anymore. I'm not... I'm up to Tuki. So... That's it. Lots, lots to, to not see here. Probably another area that's going to remain unfinished for, for the, the rest of time. This is a shame. Like a lot of areas in this game, they, they get picked up, tossed to the side, and never finished. I'm thinking I'm being so clever as well, finding all these little bits, but all it's doing is just taking me around in circles. 
Because I'm hopeless at these things. I don't even realise it. Don't even fucking figure it out. I think there was a new version of the game released um, <clears throat> before I recorded this. Uh, if I'm almost certain there was, but because of my super potato league internet available at my, my holiday residence, the ability to download it was not an option. Well, it, it was. Look, the boxes are there. We've we got to be able to get to those fucking boxes. Have I missed something obvious? Maybe we need to go around to the left. No, you don't. You do not. Um, yeah, the internet is, was pretty crap. That's also why none of this stuff got uploaded it either, because um, it would have taken too long. And it would have just, yeah. I, I didn't have um, access to my usual video editing software. Oh, they're so tantalizing. Come on, we've got to get there. I had a bit of a fallout with them. Um, see, I, I mean, I, I like my virtual dub. I like my, my tools simple and sensible. Um, and things like Premiere. Premiere is powerful, but it's also sometimes not the right tool for the job because I think it makes simple tasks. Fuck, my monitors went to sleep. Whoops. Um, it makes simple simple tasks kind of complicated. Can I time consuming? I've never seen that. Come on, fucking hell. And. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of a shortage. I tried some other ones, some new one that was development shot, shot, shortcut, shot, yeah, it was shortcut. Yeah, I don't know, a bit, bit fresh. Well, this is this is making for thrilling viewing. I know watching me run about these fucking al uh, algae fields and fish. So why don't, um, why don't I use the, the magic of post commentary to summon a jump cut? Jump cut. Save us. And voila, the jump cut has saved us. So to get there, you have to go up from a little bit. I, 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 I perhaps I'm not demonstrating it very well, but I was very close. I might uh, explain a little bit further, but if you actually watch where I was before, you can see how it links up. So that's something. <coughs> Excuse me. More fucking traveling to these stupid fields. And even more traveling to these stupid fields. And there's a there's a clock. That's good, it's about time we found something interesting. <laughs> time joke. And I'm like, oh for fuck's sake, really? Not this again. These fucking mazes. Don't be an idiot, don't don't be like me. Don't don't fucking just try and blow up your brain trying to figure this shit out. Just, just go and f look at a map. There's loads of maps online for how to do this shit. Um, so this this video is more cut up than normal one. I, I don't know whether to apologise for that or not. I know people prefer to see things actually happening, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to not completely cut out um, all of the, the intermittent stuff, but there's, there's actually some, some neat stuff that that's in the game. You might not believe it yet. You might think, well, great, these these wavy green leaves and snow effects, yeah, these are these are definitely pushing the boundaries of a uh, old took. Old uh took took. They don't, they're not even fish, it's just like white dots wiggling up and down. Fucking fucking lazy ass fish effect, if you ask me. Don't be cynical. Don't be cynical. Gotta be positive. Gotta be positive. We're never gonna find a way out of this fucking kelp forest with that kind of attitude. So it's exhausted, at least in my mind, everything to the right. There must be some other knack to it. I'm just, I'm just puzzling it through. I'm like, there's gotta be something obvious here. This is like my fucking kryptonite here. This sort of shit. Just, just trying to find your way through these stupid little puzzles. Oh, this, oh, jeez. A nuisance. I, I see why they do it. I mean, I suppose it's a, a a gameplay element in a game that has very few gameplay elements beyond run around and touch and things. Uh, so I, I guess that's to be applauded. But no. <clears throat> so to preserve your sanity and mine, I jump cut, and I'm going to demonstrate 
how you get up there. You go to the left. You go to the left, kids. Left is the way. Left is the way. And voila, you get to the clock. And a bench. I could use a sit down. I've been running around in these stupid forests for quite some time. Right, give me a clock. Now, some of you who have been following the channel might have saw a video recently. See if you can notice any landmarks as we go through this. So we'll go through this spooky little hallway. That takes us here. Now we've been here, but this thing that looks very much like one of the, the creatures from Yuminiki certainly was not. Um, although those had um, full faces on the stomach. This just has a giant eye. It seems to be bleeding. It looks it actually looks kind of disturbing in reflection. And the, the background's very weird as well. Everything's got a strange green tinge to it, except for the the creature there and the, the, the red liquid. I'm just doing the usual effects, burn down, just trying to see if we can provoke this thing into doing anything interesting. Kind of uh, wishful thinking. I'll oh, get up. Stupid, tall, Utsuki. Yeah, just flash him a little bit. The beautiful sounds of that? No. Nope. Delicious Kate? No. Nope. That? No, never. Yeah, that, that saved us one day recently, but not not this time. That, who knows, that, that works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. It works when it wants to. It doesn't work when it doesn't want to. That doesn't do anything. That makes a horrific noise. That I like. I, I like this effect, being able to swap out the ears. Simple things amuse me in this game. Like being able to have different ears on your character's head. So that's it, I guess that was the payoff. We get to see this rather grotesque creature having a bath. Or perhaps just crying into a giant sink it happens to occupy. But that takes us out here. You remember this area, right? Yeah, who could forget? Who could forget? Right back here at the, the baths and yeah, we've already we've done this area. That's a particularly interesting. And um, I think that's probably a good cue to start wrapping up this uh, long video. Long, long, long video. Uh, and we can go and save our game. And I guess this concludes quite a, quite a long week, actually. I'm quite pleased. But look at that. We've got fucking wallpaper, guys. Wallpaper. I'm not going to see it today. We'll see it some other day. thing is... Uh, uh, I sat down and played this game for quite a long time just to, to even catch out any of these interesting bits and they were quite short and few between. But anyway, episode 90, whatever it is. Thanks for watching everybody.